Uh, the last time Tom Waits appeared with us, his unusual style and sense of humor lit up our switchboard for about an hour after the show, and not all with compliments either. Uh, but his concerts filled up, his albums continued to sell with great success, and he's gone from strength to strength. However, his unpredictability has remained unchanged, and how he'll be with us tonight, who knows? I don't know about you, but I'm really glad to see him again, because I think he's a heck of a talent. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Waits, say hello. <laughs> It's really terrific to see you again. Oh, thank you. Good to see you. Good. So you for a short time this afternoon. I'm sorry, I don't mean to digress immediately as you come out here, but Bert Newton has a pair of shoes exactly like those. <laughs> with the points on the front. That's $14.99, terrific. Philadelphia. $14.99. <laughs> it sounds like a good, uh, a good price. What about, mm -hmm. uh, do you know we had 200 and over 280 phone calls about you the last time you were on here? I mean, it was, what, two years ago, I think. Yeah, you? I heard, I heard that you had some complaints, and I want to apologize for that. Oh, we didn't have any complaints. I mean, oh, well, they were, I guess they were complaining. They said uh, they thought you were on something, but you weren't, because that's just you. I was, I was surprised. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In America, you get this reaction, but of course, they're used to it over there, I suppose. Uh, actually, I don't... Uh, perform uh, a lot on television in the United States. You don't do any talk shows, Tom? It's very rare that I make an appearance on a television program. Hmm. Is there a reason for that? No, it's just um, uh, it makes me feel rather uncomfortable in the United States because uh, I live there. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> How, how is it, by the way? Is it still there? Uh... <laughs> United States, I mean. It's still there. It's up there, yeah, sure, it's still there. Any thoughts about Ronald Reagan or anything like that? Uh... No thoughts at all. <laughs> you're, not, you're not politically oriented? Uh... No. I see. You quit smoking, I, I understand. It was a real challenge for me. How many cigarettes were you smoking a day? I was a very heavy smoker, but uh, I think in order to quit successfully, you have to feel as though you're superior to those who, who do smoke. And, uh, and uh, so I, I've managed to quit, and I, I feel like a good American. And, uh, <laughs> when you. <laughs> When you quit, I have to wait and see when I can come in here. <laughs> when you quit smoking uh, like that, did it affect you at all? I mean, did it make you... It interrupts your rhythm a lot. <laughs> how, do, how did you know that, that your rhythm was being interrupted? Uh, well, when you rely on something like that, you know. It's also... Uh, uh, it's hard to give it up. I've been smoking since I was like eight years old. Yeah. You know, so, it was a little rough. Did you get nervous at first? Or have sure, we... it's like giving up food. Yeah. <laughs> I had a horse once that I tried to train to go without food, and I just about got it there, <clears throat> and it died. Really weird. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. I couldn't resist. Uh, you're working on a um, on a movie at the moment. I've seen your movies, by the way. You were in uh, um, Paradise Alley with Sylvester Stallone. A small role. Small role. Yeah. Well, you played piano. You sang a couple of lines in that. Did, yeah. I wrote a few songs for the film, but uh, there was a, an edited version that uh, was released on television, and uh, uh, you, know, I, you know, I wasn't in there much. Mm -hmm. Is that yours? Or? No, that's yours. That was there for you. Oh, thank it's you. only water. Uh, thank you. Well, it's okay. It's my pleasure. Water's free, and... 
It's a good vintage then. <laughs> Yesterday. <laughs> nice. Tom, uh, Tom got married uh, recently. How long ago did you get married? I've been married 13 months. Mm. Uh, you, if I remember correctly from the things I... <laughs> if I remember correctly from the things I read, uh, you lived alone in the same hotel room for something like seven or eight years? Uh, I did live in a hotel for quite, quite some time. In fact, a considerable amount of time I spent in, in a hotel. But, um, that's when I was single and, and, uh, So obviously being married has changed your lifestyle, Tom. Uh, to a degree, yeah. I think, are, you, are you married? No. Oh. Is this a proposal? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> no, I was just, no, I'm not married. And, um, uh, a lot of people wish I was. Sometimes I wish I was. What, has it changed you a lot, do you think? Or? You'll find out. <laughs> when my turn comes, I'll find out, huh? Yeah. And uh, it's, I think it's, in, it's, in, it's become a very important part of my life. Mm. Uh, I married a 14-year-old island girl, and uh, we're very you, happy together. You married a 14-year-old island girl? Yeah. Yes. And you very I happy. actually rescued her from the jaws of a, an active volcano. <laughs> well, they, they were just about to sacrifice her then, were they? He's one of the nicest guys you ever want to meet. Oh, it is? The four. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> you gave up liquor too. No, uh, I enjoy a, a little wine with supper now and uh, a nice sherry before retiring. <laughs> but, uh, you never talked like this before, Tom. I mean, you never said things like a nice sherry before retiring and all that. You know, I mean, this is a... Well, we, we really didn't have a chance to talk on that level, I think, the last time we were together. But, uh, in fact, we were enjoying a, a sumptuous cabernet prior to the program this evening. What year? I believe it was a 77, one of your local Australian wines that we were enjoying. 77. And a nice bouquet. Mm. Light, dry, flavorful. <laughs> did, you know which, did you know which part of the valleys it came from? Or? Um, well, we've actually found that the uh, Australian wines are superior to the New Zealand wines. I believe this was a uh, McWilliams. Mick Williams. Nice. You're, you're um, going to sing for us in a little while. We're going to take a break first, and then you're going to go over there and sing. And, uh, I, I, I think I'd like to tell people about your dates, where you're going to be. Do you know where you're going to be? I believe I'm doing about, uh, I think, about 17 concerts uh, we have lined up. And, uh, I, I don't have the itinerary. Oh, we've got here. Uh, uh, Sydney this Saturday and Sunday, Brisbane Tuesday, then Adelaide and Perth, and Melbourne, they've added a fourth show down here, and October the 21st, tickets on sale from tomorrow. If you've never seen him on stage, it's quite an exciting experience. Uh, he is, I mean it, he is really wonderful. You think because he's low-key now. You, you, he gets out there and he really, you really give it to him, don't you, out there? I really give it to him. Yeah, I thought <laughs> We'll be back in a minute. Tom Waits is going to sing. Now. 